According to a complaint that was released during a House Intelligence Committee meeting earlier today, a whistleblower is claiming President Trump has abused his power. The complaint has triggered the impeachment inquiry you've heard so much about this week into the president. Some Texas congressmen took part in this hearing, and political reporter Jack Fink is live in Dallas with what they had to say today. Jack? Well, Doug, one of the Texas congressmen is Republican John Ratcliffe. He was initially selected by President Trump to become his new director of national intelligence, but he backed out amid a growing backlash. Today, House Democrats on the Intelligence Committee backed the whistleblower, while Republicans sought to poke holes in the whistleblower's credibility. And so that the American people are very clear what that transcript relates is legal communications. Republican North United Texas States Congressman John Ratcliffe defended President Thank Trump's phone much, call Mr. with Ukraine's Thank president. The White House released a memo of that conversation yesterday, and Ratcliffe criticized the whistleblower's complaint released today. It's much like the Steele dossier, the allegations in the whistleblower's complaints are based on third-hand uh, mainstream media sources rather than first-hand information. But Democratic Regret San Antonio no Congressman no Joaquin Castro disagreed. Would you say that the whistleblower's complaint is remarkably consistent with the transcript that was released? I would say that uh, the whistleblower's con uh, complaint is in alignment uh, with what was released yesterday by the, the president. Okay. Castro asked the acting director of national section. intelligence oh, about oh, President sorry, Trump's request of Ukraine's president to investigate former yeah. Vice President Joe Biden, who is now running for president, and his son. Would that not class that, that wouldn't qualify as an intelligence matter? The complaint was referred to the Judicial Department for criminal investigation. This was not swept under the rug. The United States is allowed to solicit help from a foreign government in an ongoing criminal investigation, which is exactly what President Trump did in that conversation. So if the Democrats are intent on impeaching the president for lawful conduct, then be my guest. Texas Senator John Cornyn, up for re-election, says he's not impressed by the allegations uh, against the president. There clearly is nothing in there that gives rise to a crime or uh, an impeachable offense. So this on Twitter today, President Trump called the controversy another witch hunt and a Democrat scam. Democrats, though, insist the president abused his power. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thank you very much.